crop breathing until the hurricane will deal. And this morning, tens of thousands of tourists are riding out one of the strongest storms ever seen at a popular Mexican resort. Hurricane O'Neill made And that next morning, I couldn't breathe. But I went to a medical doctor, and he put me on antibiotics, and he put, sent me to a pulmonologist that was new in town. And uh, he diagnosed me with COPD, stage four. He's the one that gave me the nebulizers and all these things, and all these medications for uh, about six weeks, maybe. And then he put me like on a, another inhaler that I take once, once a day and um, said that's about all I need to do for me. Almost five years I haven't been able to breathe very well and just, or do very much. And I had to really curtail all the things I was doing. And like I said, I didn't go out of the house. I didn't have any desire to do anything or uh, the only, I, I mean, there was nothing I could do except concentrate on my breathing and try to get air in, you know, and um, I couldn't walk, I, I got very weak, um, and I just existed, I guess. And it wasn't until I started taking the stem cells that actually the very next day I felt better. And I thought, no, this couldn't be working that fast. The, the, the depression left. I, the reason I was depressed was because I really thought that I was never going to get any better. And with taking the stem cell, I realized I am getting better. I can breathe better. I have my life back. I'm able to, to do things. I can go outside, I can work, I can just cook, I can uh, do all the things that I used to do. Um, it's made a big difference in my life. Yeah, now it's like I don't even think about not being able to breathe because it's not, um, not an issue with me anymore. Like I said, it gave me my my life back. And uh, I'm so grateful to you and to Stan for helping me.